Hybrid golf clubs uh, have recently hit the market in the last few years and are a great advance in technology for golfers, making it a lot, lot easier to play the game. So hybrid golf clubs just basically are a mix of a fairway wood and an iron. That's why they're called a hybrid. They have the best of both worlds. So you've got the larger club head uh, that you would see with the fairway wood, but the length of the shaft is the length you would see of an iron. So the larger club head of the fairway wood is making it much easier to hit the ball, and the length of the iron is, again, making it much easier to control the club and get the club head back to the ball. So it really is uh, a club where you've got the best of both worlds. You've got advantages from both of the clubs just mixed into one. And it makes them so, so easy to hit and very, very versatile with what you can do with them. So if we look at the uh, the hybrid then and this uh, larger club head, the main thing is that the, the bigger uh, the club head is, the bigger the sweet spot is that you have to hit the ball from. And the sweet spot's just the middle of the golf club. So that the bigger the club head is, the bigger sweet spot becomes. And if you've got a larger area to hit from, it makes it much easier to hit the ball from that area so you become uh, it becomes a lot easier to hit good shots with maximum distance and accuracy also because you've got this larger club head the center of gravity of the club head can be placed a lot lower into the club and also a lot further away and back from the club face now first of all placing the the center of gravity lower into the club makes it a lot easier to get the ball airborne it gives the club a much higher launch angle so these clubs are extremely easy to get into the air they fly very high and they land very soft making it very very easy to hit the green and attack the pin but moving the center of gravity also away from the club face it increases the club's moment of inertia all that means is that the club has the ability to resist any twisting effect in the club head so if you think how an ice skater would spin if the ice skater is starting to go into a spin and they have that arms out so they're at maximum stretch which is like having a big club head they don't spin particularly quickly but as they pull their arms into their body the spin rate really increases because they lose the ability to resist the twisting effect and that's the same for the golf club the bigger the club head is the more the club can resist that twisting effect so if you've hit off center either on the toe or on the heel of the golf club the golf club will get slowed down as it impacts with the ball but it'll be able to resist the twisting effect of the other part of the club not slowing down and wanting to accelerate past so larger moment of inertia the larger club head means that it's able to resist this that uh, twisting effect and makes it much much easier for you to hit a good golf shot because basically the golf club is much more forgiving if we also look at setting the club next to the ball because the club head looks a lot bigger confidence wise you're going to feel you're going to be able to hit that ball better and you can see all of that loft just waiting to get the ball into the air for you so just the look of the club's going to make you feel a lot more confident about hitting the shot so think about swapping to hybrids because you really will improve your golf game especially if there's certain clubs that you struggle to hit and that you would tend to avoid take those out of your bag and replace them with a hybrid version and if you have a look at thomas golf they've got a really wide variety uh, of lofts available on hybrids and basically you could replace any club you wanted to and put a hybrid in to improve your golf game.